Alrighty, hello and welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a video on here. And I just wanted to show off my 20 gallon high tank. Um, it started off with four betas, betas and three guppies and it's kind of exploded since then. Um, I've done a lot of changes with this tank. And probably going to continue to change and do different things with this tank. Um, I do plan on turning it into a semi planted tank, semi planted fake plant. Um, going to see how that turns out. I bought some bulbs. I'm experimenting with those. Um, I've not bred any betas in a while. Um, my last spawn that I did spawn, um, I ended up having an outbreak through my tanks. And lost most of my fish. Um, not a hundred percent sure what's going, what happened there, but what I did to rectify it was <clears throat> I just eliminated everything, all the totes that I kept my breeding stock in. I just went ahead, threw them all away. And when I start back breeding, hopefully here in the next couple months, I want to start some more spawns. I want to get some different things going. Um, and we'll see where that goes. Until then, this tank is just teeming with guppies. I started off with four guppies, three females, and this yellow cobra male that you see. And now I just have all kinds of guppies. And let me see if I can capture this on here. These were born Christmas Eve. Um, all of them came from one female. <laughs> and they're just in their little tank, in their little breeder box, growing out until they get a decent, big enough that the betas can't eat them. <laughs> so this was originally a beta sorority. Um... Since then, there is actually one, two, five female betas and three male betas in here. And um, yeah, this little fish one back here, that is a male from a spawn of mine. And then there are, there's one tiny female from a spawn of mine, and then two other males. Um, they are extremely juveniles. Yeah, right here's one of the males, the female starting around. She almost looks like one of the guppies. She is... Right there. That is one of my females that I bred. So, the females in this tank are extremely docile. And I monitor these fish every day. So, I know which ones are aggressive, which ones aren't. None of these females are overly aggressive. 
um, this female right here, she does have a ripped fin, but she has always had that ripped fin. Um, when I got her from the pet store, she was in a tank with a lot of larger females than what she was at the time. She was probably about half the size she is now. And they beat her up pretty badly. Um, most of her fins have regrown. However, she still has that little rip in her one fin. So that was not caused from being in the sorority. Um, now, I mean, you will see them chase each other and swim around. But that's not... A lot of people want to mistake that for aggression. And that's just behavior. You know, they're not being aggressive with each other. They're not flaring up. They're not ripping scales off, tearing fins. Um, none of them have stress lines going down their sides. So, they're all fat, plump female bettas. Now, the males that I do have in here, they are still very young. Um... That's why I have them in here. So they don't cause any problems. I mean, literally, some of the guppies are a lot larger than they are. <clears throat> I also have some ivory and blue mystery snails in here. As you see them crawling all over the place. also have a sponge filter. I originally had a hang on back filter on this one. It just really was not doing the job. So I put the sponge filter in there and I like it a lot better. Um, that is, this one right here is an emerald quarry. There's two quarries in here. One is an emerald quarry. The other is a spotted quarry. Um, I do plan on getting separate tanks and separating those two and um, getting about three more of each, the emerald and the spotted. They are a schooling fish and I did in realize it when I bought them that the spotted and the emerald really wouldn't they don't do as well with other quarries as they would with quarries of their own type so if you're going to do quarries you need to have a school of like albino quarries a school of emerald quarries, a school of spotted quarries, a school of panda quarries, stay within the same type. Now with that being said, um, these fish do not seem overly stressed to me. They feed, they're growing, all indications that they are healthy. So I did paint the back of this tank a off black, kind of deep charcoal gray color. And since then, I've noticed that the quarries have been a lot um, happier. The guppies have colored up immensely. So that's helped out a lot. Plus, it makes filming this a little easier. Uh, what else is new with this tank? I've always had the same fake plants. I just use silk plants. Um, 
I'm gonna try some plant it some live plants never really had much luck I've done a lot of research on planted aquariums how to aquascape um, really not sure if I want to do it it seems to be very time consuming um, can get very expensive and uh, I'm not sure that that's a route that I want to go at this moment. But I am going to experiment with some live plants and um, just see where it goes. That's one of my favorite things about keeping fish. You know, a lot of it is experimenting, figuring out what works best. Um, what's best going to draw out the colors and the attributes of your fish. And how things are going to grow and develop over time. And I have no idea why a Cory cat does that. But both of them will just come up. And I've not... Well, I fed this tank earlier today. Um, I've been... I feed this tank a mixture of things from... Pellets, sinking foods for the Corys. Um, live micro worms. Um, cucumbers for the snails. Uh, flight food, blood worms, frozen brine shrimp. This tank gets a wide variety of foods. Um, not all of them in the same day, obviously, but I'll usually, in the morning when I get up, turn the light on, throw in some fake flake food and some pellets. Um, the betas really like the pellets. I, this is the pellet that I use. It's just the Tetra Beta small pellets. Uh, not sponsored, just what I use. So, um, I really like these. They do don't muck up the tank and they don't just they don't swell up and sink really quickly so they'll stay floating up at the top and it just makes it better for the betas to be able to eat um, I feed live micro worms to this tank from time to time which is hilarious to see because it literally starts a feeding frenzy the guppies go nuts for those micro worms um, I've been feeding them to the fry and um, I've noticed a significant um, faster growth in them than when these guys were first spawned these little ones that you see swimming around. And um, I've seen significant growth in them. For them to have just been born a few days ago. But um, once again that feeds back to the experimenting. Seeing what foods do best with them. It's one of my favorite parts about this whole hobby. And that's the update for this tank. Ooh. Let's get some maybe.
There's one of the little male betas. <clears throat> but that's going to be it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe.